Let us hear this brief melody. It is okay, but nothing special. Let us hear this one instead. It is the same melody, but much more expressive. What happened? We just used a bunch of age-old tricks borrowed from many musical traditions and applied to the modular world. There are ornaments, dynamics changes, and agogic and stuff like that. We will go through all of them one by one. It is gonna take a while, so we will shoot a lot of videos on this topic. Today we will start from the simplest one. Articulation. Many musical instruments can play longer or shorter notes, and some instruments can even sustain a note for an indefinite time, like the church organ. If we play the same melody with short or long notes, we obtain two very different results. duration is the same, so we are not changing the melody's speed or its rhythm. If we imagine the time between two notes, we are just changing how much of this time is occupied by the first note. This practice is generally called articulation in Western music, because it is how we articulate a written melody. If you come from other musical tradition and have other terms to define the articulation, let us know in the comments below. If we play with articulation, we can give every note a different flavor, and we can even obtain other rhythmic figures within our main rhythmic structure. In Western music there is a bunch of words and symbols to describe the articulation practices, and they vary a lot according to the instrument that is playing and the composition style, but we still can get a grasp on them. By default we tend to assume that a note is held for its whole duration, and if we need to stress or emphasize this feature we can use the tenuto symbol, which is a dash above or below their note head. When a note needs to be played with a shorter duration to separate from the others, we talk about staccato. Its symbol is a dot above or below the note head. Staccato in Italian means detached, because the notes are separate from one another. We can write a staccato piece also like this, but you will notice that it is quite cumbersome and very difficult to read. It is also fairly difficult to grasp the rhythmic structure at a glance. On the other hand, if you want a melody that flows tied together, we use the legato symbol, which is a line that connects the first and the last note of the melody. As opposed to the tenuto, which means held and where the notes are long but still separate, with delegato they are almost joined in a single pronunciation. Let us then move to the modular system and see how we can transpose these concepts to our sequences. The easiest way is through gates that we also discussed in other videos about timing pulses, but there might be other ways of playing with our pieces articulation. Let's dive into that. Okay, so let's start from the easiest possible configuration. We have one pattern on one track, CVA is controlling the volt per octave of our brain, so oscillator, and the gate A is outputting a very short gate that trick this phalistry here, which controls the amplitude on the CGM. Now, since we have already selected the gate A, we can play and increase the time the gate stays high. Now, if the gate has only one LED lit, it means that it is playing the shortest possible duration and it can be thought of as a staccato effect. And if it has all the 16 stages lit, it will stay high for the whole stage duration. It is the exact same as having no envelope at all controlling our sequence. It is a legato effect. with longer gates has more emphasis and can really create a rhythm within a rhythm. Notice how different is this sequence here from this one with inverted gates. You almost feel like the beat, like the start of the sequence is in a different point. So this was the most immediate way to play with longer and shorter notes, but there is another one. And to achieve that, paradoxically, we need to turn our envelope to transient mode. Now you can hear that it fires only when a raising stage is detected, so we are gonna set all of our stages to less than 16 time units, otherwise it, it will not have any gate off and then on to trigger again. So now any gate any sta uh, gate duration is gonna have the same effect 
because the envelope doesn't have the hold stage anymore. You can see that as I am changing the duration, the rhythm is always the same. So perhaps we can spice the melody up by shifting the second part up one octave. that with the legato we move between two notes without breaking their amplitude. On some instruments it is even possible to glide between two notes without breaking the amplitude but also the frequency. We discussed this technique in our talk about glissando and portamento, which I will link here and in the description as well. We can incorporate glissando and portamento in this talk about articulation, but always remember the difference between usta slide and falistris slew limiter. Okay, let us then go back to the sequence, CBA, gate A, we already have a gate pattern, a varied gate pattern with longer and shorter gates. So we are basically just going to select CBA, it's our R notes, and make some stages green by pushing the navigation encoder. Now Usta will integrate between this value and this one, and this value and this one, and this value and this one. Now the integration takes the whole stage duration time, so this integration will be shorter than this one because this stage is just one time unit long, and this one is two time units long. Now consider that this stage is two time unit long, just like this one. But if we set if we set both to slide, you can hear that this is more of a bending and this is more of a slide because this gate is long enough to make us fully appreciate the slide from this stage from this one. Otherwise, this stage has a very short gate, so it is almost like a stopped note. So we can hear just a sort of bending from this stage to this one. If we want a more conventional portamento style, we just need to route the CVA of our track through Usta's Zluminter, like this. Now, of course, now we are no longer able to define a different slide per each stage, but we can choose to slide only going up or going down. Now we can use our stages to define when there is a leap downwards and then set our gates accordingly like this. Now if we appreciate this kind of articulation but we want to add a further degree of unpredictability, we can take advantage of the variation index and the variation range of our gate channel. So we are gonna select the CVA until its LED becomes red and add a wide variation index and then we are gonna add a slight amount of variation range for example it can be four now you can hear that some gates now are missing so we are gonna set all of them to five so that every stage will pick a value that is four units higher or lower than the one that we define here in the red layer. Now since this is 5 LED, the least, the shortest possible gate is 1. If we set them to 4, 
we could have had some pauses because we could have had some stages with zero gate length. In this way, by setting this to 5 and the variation index to 4, we can have a gate length from 1 to 9. So this was the foundation of our modular expressiveness journey, but in the next episodes we will talk about dynamics, agogic, grace notes, ornamentations, and so on. So stay in touch for the next episode. I hope you find this video useful, and I will see you next time.